Hey everyone. <laughs> Is that okay? C can I just come back from uh, three years and say hey everyone? What you're seeing in the video is just a random compilation of competitive lobby footage from 2014. And I suppose that's the, uh, that's the elephant in the room, isn't it? Where- 2014? That seems like a long time ago. But here I am. I uploaded a video. And let me just say first that I am floored. Truly just unbelievably grateful for the response you guys have given that video. Since the very moment that I started working on TF2 as a Timeless Masterpiece, I've just been running these nightmare scenarios in my head. I've been imagining that I upload it and it gets like a thousand views. No one even <laughs> plays TF2 anymore. The few people that do hate me for leaving, it's just... Oh man, the times I imagined everything going wrong. But you know what? I told myself, even if that happens, that's alright. And what I need to do right now is I have to make that video. I need to work 10 hours a day on it. Every moment I can, I need to work on it. And if everyone hates it, and no one's around, you know what, that's fine. But what happened instead, was just, it just blew me away, you guys were so nice, I cannot believe the comments you guys left. It's literally a dream for me. Just as many times as I had a nightmare about uploading this video, I also would dream about uploading this video and having just one person comment, wow, that was perfect. Every time I felt discouraged by how long certain things were taking, I thought to myself, someone's gonna comment, Wow, I loved your attention to detail. Or, wow, the editing was so smooth here. And it's all gonna be worth it. And you know what it was? The comments you guys left were straight out of my dreams. I couldn't ask for a nicer, more wholesome viewer base. But I'm gonna have to stop myself here, because I could go on forever about how grateful I am, but there's a couple things I should talk about. First of all, a lot of people seem to want some kind of story for why I was gone. And that's understandable. But I regret to inform you that there's nothing really, it's not really exciting. It's not an exciting story. Really, I just got really sidetracked in life and I kept thinking about my future and if I was doing the right things and I ended up losing a lot of confidence in myself which really killed my motivation to create stuff. And when I stopped creating things, it started this self-fulfilling loop of feeling guilty for not creating anything, which certainly didn't make me feel better. I felt weak and the guilt compounded on itself. You might not believe it coming from someone who didn't upload in three years, but I thought about YouTube almost every day. And I felt so bad about it at one point that anything that reminded me about it would make me feel physically sick from the guilt. But you know what kept me afloat? It was the fact that some of you never stopped believing in me. And I just couldn't believe that. You guys kept believing in me when I couldn't believe in myself. So many times when I went to play TF2 or Overwatch or even just talked in a Twitch chat, someone would recognize me and say, Hey, Lacey Purple, what happened? I liked your stuff, man, why'd you stop? And this might sound strange, but that made me feel worse at first. It just... I'm telling you, this guilt was wrecking me, and when fans would reach out to me, it made me realize that I was letting these people down. But after enough times of this, it finally got through my thick skull that there were people that wanted to see me make stuff. So I decided I would. Consider this a shout out to anyone who left a positive comment or reached out to me in the last three years because you are responsible for the video that I uploaded. I do want to keep creating stuff, there's no doubt about that. The only question is what do I make and how often do I make it? If you didn't know a single thing about video editing, you might not know that a video like TF2 is a timeless masterpiece takes hundreds and hundreds of hours. I lost track, but I would say absolutely 700 minimum. Now, I don't have any issue with putting that much effort into a video, in fact, it was really rewarding. But I have my sights set on making YouTube economically sustainable. I want to be able to work 10 to 12 hours a day on creating content for you guys as best as I can. I don't care if I'm living on the bare minimum, I just want to make enough money from it that I'm good. On YouTube, there are two ways to do this. You either make low, medium effort content at least once a week, or you set up a Patreon and really commit to quality in your videos. Now, I am not, I am not setting up a Patreon after making one video, okay? I don't even understand Patreon etiquette. I can hardly use my Twitter so far, all right? I'm, I'm, in, I'm inept. Please bear with me. I know that I have to earn your guys' trust before I even think about asking for a single dollar, but I'm prepared to show you guys how committed I am to this. I'm gonna make a promise to you guys and myself that I'm gonna do my absolute best on YouTube for six months. If somehow I'm not economically sustainable by that point, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I gotta give it the old college try, you know? Now there's one last thing that I wanna make absolutely clear when it comes to all of this. There's no way that I can just stick to TF2 with what I'm planning to do. I wanna commit to making high quality videos that I'm proud of, and I just know that if I would only make TF2 videos, I would lose the spark. 
I meant everything I said in TF2 is a timeless masterpiece. I love TF2 and it's completely shaped the way I look at other games. But YouTube is really harsh on people who aim for quality instead of quantity, and I'm preparing myself to work at least 50 hours a week to make this work. What that means is that I'm gonna go crazy if I spend 50 hours a week just thinking about TF2 for six months. There's some humor that you just can't get out of a game like TF2. When I finally decided to start making videos again, I was too scared to work on this TF2 project. I knew it would be such an undertaking. I had a bunch of Overwatch clips lying around, so I decided to relearn editing by making videos out of those. Looking at them now, I kind of asked myself, could these have been TF2 videos? And I'm realizing that they couldn't have. Overwatch is more competitive, which creates a different kind of humor. It forces people to communicate. People get frustrated at each other. Everyone's actions have real consequences. It's less funny to watch the 100th free-to-play pyro walk off a cliff than it is to watch a Grandmaster Winston jump off accidentally. I still have a lot of ideas for TF2 videos, and I'm excited to put them into action, but I just wanted to give fair warning in this video where I'm just talking to you guys that I already have two completed Overwatch videos, and I think it'd be a shame if no one ever saw them. No matter what, I'm always gonna push for the highest of quality. I'm never gonna try and, you know, cheat the YouTube algorithm or something like that. And I have this philosophy that as long as I put all the effort I can into these videos that I'm making, I know you guys will appreciate them, whether or not it's an Overwatch video or a TF2 video. And I know that everything is gonna work out just fine, and I can't wait to make more content for you guys. So, let's see how this goes. Thanks for listening, I'll catch you next time.